Okay, so last class we used the trig. So in your toolbox, right, so for today's quiz, if you need to find a missing side of a triangle, you can use Pythagorean theorem if you have two sides. Um, you can use the 30, 60, 90 right triangle relationship or the 45, 45, 90 right triangle relationship if you have a triangle with those angle measures. Otherwise, you can't. Trig, you can always use trigonometry even with those other special right triangles. So if you walk in today and you forgot those relationships, you can always use trigonometry. The only thing you need for trig is an angle and two sides. And one of the sides is typically an unknown. So last class, we found side lengths using trig. The other method, right, or the other reason why we use trig is to find an angle measure. So in today's notes, we're going to be finding a missing angle using trig, okay? So you still do the same thing as we did last time. So based on the triangle, you need to identify if you're going to use sine, cosine, or tangent. So right away, on your quiz, I would put the SOKOTOA at the top of your page, okay? So in example one, the equations are already written for you. Okay, you'll have to set this up on your own, but I just wanted to go through on the calculator. You're going to be using these buttons today with the negative one exponent, the inverse key. So we're going to have to hit the second first. So after you look at the question and you've decided, pay attention, that you need to use sine. So we're trying to find theta. Remember, theta represents the angle. So if I had a triangle, it would look like this. So here's theta opposite, right? Sine is opposite to hypotenuse. So opposite to hypotenuse 3. So if I was trying to find theta, all you do is use the calculator, OK? So you want to write that theta equals, you put sine inverse, just writing down the buttons we're going to press, OK? So you put the inverse sine of 2 thirds, OK? So you're, we're not solving anything. We're just writing, again, this is what we type on the calculator. So open up your calculator and press second sine of 2 thirds. So alpha link gives you the fraction key. So inverse sine of 2 thirds gives us an angle measure of 41.810. So that's how you go backwards. So given the ratio, we can find the angle measure by going backwards using that inverse key. OK? So let's write the um, angle first. So going back to Active Inspire. So I would encourage you to write the decimal. And rounding to the nearest degree, it's approximately 42 degrees. All right, so in the middle one, I'm going to skip drawing the triangle because we're going to do some examples where we have to draw the triangle. The triangle is provided in a second. So in this question, again, we're given the ratio. So we're given the ratio of the two sides to find the angle. The only thing you need to write is that the angle equals whatever it is that you're typing on the calculator. So inverse cosine of 8 over 21. And let's write the last one because I have to open up the calculator. This one would be theta equals inverse tangent of 17 sixteenths. So type those both in the calculator and we'll get the angle measures. So inverse cosine, so second cosine of 8 over 21. And then inverse tangent of 17 sixteenths. So the first angle rounded to the nearest degree would be how many degrees for the inverse cosine? 68, good. And then the second one, 47, good. So theta is approximately 68 degrees. 
and then theta is approximately 47 degrees. Okay? So we're going to do the same thing down below. We're just going to draw the picture that represents what's going on in the question. All right, so Bob places an 18-foot ladder 16, or 6 feet from the base of his house. So here's Bob's house. Here's the ground. He places in ladder. So a ladder is leaning up against his house. Now, the ladder is 18 feet long, and it's 6 feet from the base of his house. So 18 feet is the length of the ladder, and it is six feet from the base of the house. Now, the house is standing upright, so there's our right angle, and then we have our right triangle. So find to the nearest degree the measure of the angle the bottom of the ladder makes with the ground. So that's right there. So according to that angle, we have the side adjacent to, so right next to the angle, and then we have the hypotenuse. So is that going to be the sine ratio, cosine ratio, or tangent ratio? Cosine. So we write out the cosine of theta, or x if you want to use x, equals adjacent to hypotenuse. So if again I want to find theta, Again, we just write down what we're typing in the calculator. So theta equals inverse cosine of 6 eighteenths or 1 uh, third. So typing it in, second cosine of 6 eighteenths or 1 third. Our angle measure is to the nearest degree? 71 degrees. Questions? All right, let's look at three. So in three, it says find the value of x and y, both being angle measures. Okay? So take a look at the picture. We have two overlapping right triangles, so if it's helpful, we can draw them separately. So I'll start by doing that. All right, so if I need to find angle X and angle Y, which one can I find right now with the information that's given, X or Y, Luke? Y. y. X I cannot find because I need another sign. So let's focus on finding angle Y. So according to the angle, I have the side opposite, and I have hypotenuse. So that means we're going to use the sine. So the sine of Y equals 22 over 40. So to find y, the angle, all we need to do is type in the calculator using that inverse sine button, 22 over 40, to come up with the measure for angle y. So going to the calculator, second sine of 22 over 40. Get 33.367, and we're going to round to the nearest tenth, so that's approximately 33.4. So y equals 33.367, dot, dot, dot. So y is approximately 33.4. Okay. The only other piece of information I didn't really highlight or note 
is that um, these two segments are the same length. They're congruent. Okay? So if I knew the whole, so let's call this Z, if I knew the whole length, I could simply cut it in half. Is there any way to find Z based on what's given? <laughs> Bless you. Joey? Pythagorean theorem. Yeah. So using this green triangle, going back to the green, the one we just used, we have two sides of that triangle. So we can do 22 squared plus z squared equals 40 squared. OK, so 22 squared. Or remember, you can set it up if you don't want to have to worry about that plus or minus. The leg of a right triangle is equal to the hypotenuse, the square root of the hypotenuse squared minus leg squared. OK, so when I do that, we get the square root of 1,116. Does anyone know the largest perfect square factor of 1,116? What's that? 48 is not a perfect square. Do we know a perfect square that goes into that? Sixty-four, how many times? You just taking a guess? So divide it by sixty-four and what do you get? What about thirty-six? Eighty-one. Thirty-six, how many times? So 36 times 31. So final answer is 6 radical 31. So if the whole length is 6 radical 31, what's each part or each half? 3 radical 31. So that's the one leg of this orange one. Now, back to the orange one to find angle x. Is that the sine, cosine, or tangent ratio when we do not have the hypotenuse? So we have opposite and adjacent tangent. So it's the tangent of x equals 3 radical 31 over 22. So x equals, we're going to type in the calculator inverse tan of 3 radical 31 over 22. So use your fraction key. Type in the radical just as you see it. So second tan. The question would be uh, finding, finding the perfect square root or whatever. Give me one moment and I'll answer that. Okay, so final answer here to the nearest tenth would be 37.2. So x equals 37.207 dot dot dot. So x is approximately 37.2 degrees. So I should be including degrees for those angles. All right, and number four, the accompanying diagram shows a flagpole that stands on level ground. Two cables R and S are attached to the pole at point 16 feet above the ground. The combined length of the two cables is 50 feet. So that's important. So the length of the cables are noted with S and R. So I know that S plus R equals 50. If cable R is attached to the ground 12 feet from the base of the pole, what is the measure of angle x to the nearest degree that cable S makes with the ground? So we need to find x, which is a part of this triangle. OK? We need, right, in order to find the angle, we must know two sides for Trey. So if I use this fact, is there any way we can find r? So r is in the triangle on the right side. Then I'll just subtract that value from 50 to find out what s is. 1216 blank is a Pythagorean triple. If not, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. This is 4 times 3. So it's the 3 
4 times 4. So this would be what times 4? Five. 5 times 4. So 3, 4, 5, triple uh, times 4. So if r is 20, what's s? 30. So now, using s is 30, we have which ratio, sine, cosine, or tangent? Sine is right. So we have the sine of x equals 16 thirtieths. So now we just go to the calculator. And x equals inverse sine of 16 over 30. Whoops, not apps, but second sine of 16 over 30. And rounding to the nearest degree, it's about 32.